We're going to get to the Republicans in a moment here on Donovan Live, but we start with the Democrats, where if you believe the polls, it's going to be a very good <laughs> night for them. Channel 3's Andrew Horansky is live in Columbus, where the Democratic Party is gathered tonight to start us off. Hi, Drew. Hi, Chris. Well, I can tell you the party here starts at 730. And as far as midterms go, talk about a pretty big venue for that, right? Well, I can tell you from the Democrats who I spoke with this afternoon, they're certainly fired up after seeing the state go to President Donald Trump two years ago. And they're really being aggressive at trying to get people out to the polls, especially trying to get younger people to vote. And of course, they know already that one of those races is going to be incredibly tight. Democrat Rick Cordray is running against Mike DeWine. And it could be so close, it's possible, Chris, some are telling me that we may not even even know the result tonight. He, of course, is running with Betty Sutton, Sut Sutton, who is from Barberton. She served time in the U.S. House. The other big race, of course, is for the Senate. Democrat Sherrod Brown seeking a third term and hoping to keep his seat. Now, in just a few hours here, we will know whether he keeps it, hopefully get a chance to hear his thoughts as well. I can tell you that the candidates are here with their friends and family and that uh, hopefully this election night answers some of the questions we have tonight. But again, bracing for the possibility with that close governor's race, we may not have all the answers. Answers. Back to you. Yeah, you might not have an early night down there on this beat, Drew. Thanks very much. We'll no. keep on top of it all evening sure. long. And unlike the two Democrats at the top of the ticket that Drew's talking about, the two top Republicans running tonight are at different locations. This is a live look from Wadsworth, and there is the candidate. There's Jim Renacci, who is running, of course, on the Republican side of the ballot for the U.S. Senate. He's been trailing in the polls as of late. Remember, he was a late entry in the Senate race, switching from running for governor to to senator after Josh Mandel dropped out. So Renacci kind of has his own party there in Wadsworth. The rest of the GOP ticket is down in Columbus as well. Lena Lai is at the watch party there where Mike DeWine and a whole host of Ohio Republicans are gathering this evening. Lena, good evening to you. Good evening, Chris. Yeah, we're just right down the road from where Andrew is, and we're right next to the State House at the Columbus Sheridan. This is the Republican Party's election night headquarters for tonight. There you see the stage behind me adorned with flags, uh, the podium ready. Uh, Mike DeWine himself uh, was here about a half hour ago with his wife, Francis, and his family and campaign aides. Uh, just getting a lay of the land, getting some mic checks, getting a feel for the podium tonight. As we mentioned, this is going to be a tight race. The pollsters have said this race is pretty much a toss-up. We have also talked about how this is one of the most expensive. Both candidates for the governor's race spending in excess of $50 million for this campaign. Uh, the two candidates both uh, have similar views on issues like uh, Medicaid expansion, which was uh, Governor John Kasich's signature triumph, extending those benefits to 700,000 Ohioans of low income status. But issue one is where these two candidates couldn't be further apart. Mike DeWine strongly opposing issue one, which would lessen penalties for some drug offenses. Again, it's going to be a tight race, a long night here. We also, Chris, heard uh, talk amongst the campaign workers uh, for Mike DeWine. They are concerned because of the storms earlier mm. today, putting, uh, you know, in causing some power outages at some polling places, especially in Trumbull County, having to use provisional ballots. So they are concerned about it, and they are too expecting a long night here in Columbus. Chris? Yeah, we heard a couple dozen precincts there in Trumbull County. Lena had mm -hmm. some issues, so a lot of moving parts. We'll be keeping an eye on it. As you say, it could be a very late night. Lena, thanks very much.